My name is Jamie Slogan and currently teaching uh, uh, policy and project management at uh, Simon Fraser University and uh, Terrestrial Restoration at British Columbia Institute of Technology. And today we have our students uh, working uh, in partnership uh, with Port Metro Vancouver uh, to do some adaptive management on a site here at Glenrose. It all started back in the classroom about a month ago. It started with uh, four different groups coming up with, with their own individual concepts uh, as a group and, th and that was submitted for review uh, by the wetland uh, expert here, Gary Williams, and, and the project manager, Gord Rufo. So over the last uh, four weeks, we've been able to uh, secure the plants in the plant nursery, secure the materials with the help of Port Metro Vancouver, and <clears throat> plan for the students to be out here and time it correctly here. As you can see, uh, we have to work within tidal windows uh, in the Fraser River. One of the problems we have with planting these marsh plants, this is sedge, Carex lingvii. So this is one of the native species that grows all along our shore. And unfortunately, it is uh, a favored food of Canada geese. So when we transplant something like 60,000 plugs in our site here, the Canada geese will come and graze on it and wipe it out. So we're putting in these uh, fenced enclosures to keep the geese out. This uh, plant is really, really important because it uh, is the basis of the food chain within the Fraser River estuary. And these plants grow up to about a, up to a meter tall. And then when they decompose in the uh, fall and over the winter, they provide plant material, detritus we call it, that washes out into the estuary. And that detritus supports a food web, including little midge larvae that live in the mud and a number of other invertebrates that juvenile salmon and other fish and uh, waterfowl and other birds feed on. So it's vital to sustaining the natural ecology of the estuary. Research has shown that if the juveniles live in the estuary for weeks or months, they actually are a better fit fish when they leave the estuary and migrate out into the ocean. So these, um, Estuarine habitats are really, really important in producing high quality uh, juvenile fish for the outward migration. Our class was divided into four different companies and we each made uh, competing proposals of how to do some additional planting at this uh, Glenrose Tidal Marsh site. And uh, in the end, one of the teams won. It happened to be my team. And uh, so it's really cool because uh, today and yesterday, we're able to uh, implement this plan and uh, deal with uh, the challenges that field work uh, presents. So these ropes are hopefully to uh, dissuade Can Canadian geese from landing into our plots and eating the uh, plants. Geese like to have clear sight lines and clear flight lines. So we're hoping the yellow kind of throws them off a bit and so they don't feel compelled to land. Or they can also see it's a hazard, they might not be able to get out. So a really big benefit of working with the port is that they do have uh, leadership and they have supplies that can help us. Uh, you know, they, they provided all the equipment here. Um, and working with them is you get to see the other side and industry is a part of ecological restoration. And so we get to see as students how industry works and what they're trying to do to help uh, do restoration. So it's great because they have the skills, the money and the management to help us do what we need to do.